everyone, I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations and I wanted to share with you a new project I've been working on and this is a paper bag scrapbook album. As you can see it's quite a substantial album and all I've used is four paper bags for the main construction of the four pages and some cardstock and a 12 by 12 paper collection. But it's got a three inch spine so there's plenty of room as you can see for expansion when I add in extra memorabilia and photographs the pages. I'll walk you through that, that in a moment. It's got a very sturdy cover on as well and then it's all nicely finished off with some metal fastenings etc. And then the front is all nicely decorated up as well. So as I say this is made with the stationer's desk. Um, the fastening I put on here, this I got from a hardware store over here in the UK and it's actually a keyring charm so this is for you to make your own keyrings but I've used it to fasten the book so you just uh, squeeze that open and then it comes undone and then on top of that I've added a couple of little extra charms just to finish it off and add some extra embellishment to that so as I say it's a very substantial album but the main construction is four paper bags. So inside the front cover here, we've also used an opportunity to put a large photo mat. I've been very conscious of people using their six by four photographs and not necessarily having to cut photographs down, but also plenty of room for adding little notes and journaling as well. Now there's one photo mat in here, but you could also add another one or even two more or slide receipts or memorabilia behind there as well. This is the front page here, this is page one. Use the little uh, stationer's paper clip here that I've coloured with a Spectrum Wild pen so it all ties in nicely with the paper collection. Another photo mat here, double sided again with some little embellishments etc on there, all came out from the paper collection and again you could add an extra photo mat behind there if you wanted to. As you turn this page over it folds right out so lots of space here for photo mats and as you slide out there's two big photo mats again for you to add your big photographs on here. So they just slide in the pocket here so this is where you can see it becomes the paper bag element okay and then I've just used the little paper clip to not only add um, some embellishment to the album but also just to hold those uh, big photo mats in place there on to page two I've got a magnet opening here so lots of space again for photographs there and then you've got a pocket here so plenty of space for adding photographs on the top here and also inside. Inside the pocket I've made one little photo book for you to add photographs. You could add six photographs quite easily but because it's a pocket you can add even more behind there or some more memorabilia, you know menus, tickets, anything you wish really. Depends what you want to use the album for. And then I've used the lots of these little cut aparts from the paper collection as well just tucked behind there. I haven't glued it down because to me I think you could write little secret notes on there. So that's page one, uh, page two on the front. Page two on the back, again nice big photo mat here. One of the little tags that's come out of the paper collection that I've embellished up. So if we pull this one out, this is a big photo mat that can be pulled out. So as you can see plenty of space for big photographs and on the inside as well. I haven't wasted paper collection on the inside. I've just used my Pro Marker and some of the stickers from the paper collection because it's perfect for adding 6x4 photographs. So that just goes into the top here. So it not only adds as a flap with some embellishments but if we lift it up we've got another flap. I'll just move this across opens out again so even more space for big photographs so there's plenty of space in this album for big photographs so you wouldn't think that these were made from just paper bags this is page three another big pull out photo mat again 
lots of room as I say for photographs so if you didn't want to add your six by four big pictures you could add smaller ones and put in there as well so that just slides in the top of that page and then in here again we've got a pocket more photo mat opportunities and journaling so there's plenty of space another cut apart as well from the paper collection just held down not glued so you can take it out and write on there so that just pops in that pocket and as I say there's even more room there if you wanted to add um, even more embellishments or photo mats okay so that's uh, page three the front and then if you turn over to the back we've got a magnetic uh, opening here with a big photo mat again and then a gatefold opening with even more opportunity for adding your photographs so plenty of room here for adding photographs and then page four we've got the bag in a different format again here this opens up and inside here more space as well for journaling and photographs but there's also two little booklets these have got little pockets inside again the cut aparts from the paper collection I've not stuck down because I think you could add journaling on those but there's two little pockets for you to add some um, your memorabilia or extra little photographs so there's two identical ones in here both obviously decorated differently in slightly different ways so that's the um, little booklets that go inside there and then as we turn this over we've got another magnetic opening here with a little tab this opens up again and then drops down again so even more space again for adding some big photographs on there and then on the back cover here we've got another pull out booklet this opens up to then show you more spaces for big photographs and then on the inside you could add some more journaling or photographs again so plenty of spaces to tuck away your photographs memorabilia write stories so it's a great little album i've really enjoyed making it and it's all made from four paper bags that were sent to me by a lady called maria from the states so thank you maria because we don't get paper bags like this in the uk so as I say, it's four paper bags, all constructed in different ways. As you can see from the hinge here, that's why I'm trying to hold it up. I've left plenty of space between the hinge. That's why it's got a three inch spine. So there's plenty of space for you to add even more to these pages. There's lots of room for adding extra photographs and um, menus and um, places you've been and tickets and things. So that's why I've made it quite a substantial size. So it's not really a mini album it's a paper bag scrapbook album so I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations as I say this is going to be a new online line workshop you can purchase this from my website www.dawnsinspirations.com I'll leave the link at the bottom of the video um, it's a paid tutorial online but once you bought it you can do the tutorial over and over again and you don't have to use the same paper collection you can use whatever paper collection you like and make it as many times as you like and that's the beauty of it if you're wondering what supplies you're going to need to um, make this album if you also go over to my website or I'll leave the link I've also put a little video on there just walking through some of the um, supplies I've used to actually make this mini album so if you're thinking you'd like to have a go but you don't want to go buying too much extra to make the album if you pop over there there's a video and I just walk you through some of the main supplies that you're going to need to actually make this this little um, book so as, as I say it's not such a little book really but I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations and this is my stationer's desk paper bag scrapbook album so if you'd like to join me on the workshop pop over to my website and I'll see you at the workshop. Bye bye for now.